you're listening to this because you want motivation, you want to be inspired. But my greatest fear is that you'll get motivated, you'll get inspired, and that'll just be a declining arc for a few minutes after you listen to this video that ends with you doing nothing. And what I want, what I really hope for, and the reason that I give myself over to making these so completely, is I know some percentage of you on the other side of this will ultimately be prepared to take that first step. You will realize that the only thing that matters is action, and you will take that action. And it's in that action that your potential greatness waits. And as Martin Luther King said, take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. You've just got to believe that you can learn. You don't have to believe that you're already capable of doing what you want. You don't have to believe that you can already build that thing that you dream. You don't have to believe that you already are extraordinary. You simply have to believe. Get to the office at about eight and begin my day. My dull, gray world was now full of color and life. The noise of the printer, replaced by the noises of nature. That if you take that first step, you put yourself on a journey not of execution, you put yourself on a journey of learning so that you can execute. And that, when you understand that difference, that's when you really will be on that path to greatness. And that is the thing that I want for everybody listening to this. Please understand the only thing you need to know is that you have to take the first step. Whatever the vision is that you have for your life, you absolutely can make it come true. And the process is very simple. The process is about learning. The process is about growing and getting better. It's about recognizing what you're not good at. It's about recognizing what you have to learn. It's about taking that first step on faith. On faith that you can get better. On faith that you can become the greatest of all time. And once you have that faith, once you know that simply being a human being puts you in this rare category of creature that can get better through pressure, through pain, through difficulty, through failure, those are the things that are going to be the building blocks of your success. But in order to begin on that road, in order to have your first glorious failure, you must first take that first step. So please. Don't waste your time being motivated or inspired. Spend every second of your time moving forward. That's how you're going to get where you want to go. Identity and values drive behavior. So if you want to make a change, you have to change your vision of who you are. You have to begin telling yourself a different narrative. And the narrative you tell yourself about yourself is everything. Too many people get trapped, believing they're powerless over their circumstances. People talk about their troubles like they're happening to someone else. Like they're a passive bystander in their own life a spectator to their own problems. These people never take action because they see themselves as a victim. They feel that every situation is out of their control. And you want to know the dark secret? They like it that way because then they don't have to do anything. And if you tell yourself that you're a scared, undereducated kid from Tacoma whose family has never accomplished anything, let me tell you what you will become. A scared, undereducated kid from Tacoma who never accomplishes anything because that's what you believe. You tell yourself that story enough and it will become real. 
But on the flip side, you could tell yourself a story of you're a learner. You learn faster than most people. You're willing to put in more work than most people. You're willing to read more books than most people. You're willing to spend an inhuman amount of time every day improving your mind simply by getting new ideas into the system. And that you will admit that you're wrong faster than anybody else. That you won't let your ego get in the way. And you tell yourself that story over and over and over. So when somebody comes and tells you how stupid you are, that you're just a dumb kid from Tacoma, you go, you're right, that's amazing. Thank you for pointing out that flaw because now that I I'm aware of it, I can improve it because I'm the learner. And once I switched my narrative to being the learner, it didn't matter where I started, it only mattered where I was trying to go. And as long as I had that clarity, then I could execute because I believed I could do anything I set my mind to without limitation. Every time we form a new opinion about who we are, we're right. Not because our opinions are based on fact or even shared by the people that know us best, our opinions about ourselves are correct because every time we believe something about our identity, it becomes our reality. We are constantly, subconsciously creating the reality of our existence. So why not create it consciously? If you had the opportunity right now, in this moment, to create an entirely new reality for yourself, what would it look like? Which traits would the new you possess how would you react under pressure? And how would you push yourself to learn and grow? And how would you push yourself to grow and get better? That person you're imagining, they're worth becoming. So get to know them. Get in the habit of thinking their thoughts, of seeing the world the way they see the world. Because when you do that, when you get deep inside their mind, when you see things the way they see things, then you're really just becoming your future self. As Daniel Pink said, people fail to achieve mastery not because they aren't talented, but because they aren't disciplined. The wonderful news about the human condition is you can get good at anything that you set your mind to. It's just not going to be easy and it's not going to be fast. But the willingness to put in that work is what's going to separate you from everybody else. And I'm begging you to see yourself right now today as average as no better than anyone else. But I beg you with more force than I know how to convey with this language to see yourself as malleable, to see yourself as capable of becoming anything you want to become, to become truly extraordinary. If you can find within yourself the discipline to stick with it long enough. And as Steve Martin said, perseverance is a great substitute for talent. Everybody wants to talk about who's talented. Everybody looks at the person with innate talent as if they have something magical. But to me, it's a gift, it's a handout. It's a freebie. It hasn't been earned. And no matter what it is, it's only the beginning. Even somebody that has talent, even if you get an early win, if you let somebody outwork you, if you let somebody who has more perseverance, more grit than you, then they are going to outperform you on a long enough timeline. The only thing I can guarantee is you will be outworked by somebody unless you pour your heart and soul into getting great. If you don't take days off, if you put yourself into it as if your life depended on it, when you act like that, then you've got a chance to be great. And as Robert Horry said, pressure can bust pipes, but it can also make diamonds. You've gotta want that pressure. You've gotta want things to be hard. You can't seek out the easy life. You can't just hope and pray that you can uncover inside of you some talent that's laid dormant that you didn't know about that's gonna let things be easy for you. Don't want the easy, want the hard, want the pressure, want the thing that's gonna turn you into something. Because when it's easy, you don't work for it. When it's easy, you don't push. When it's easy, you get surpassed by the person who has to give it their all, who's prepared to do blood, sweat, and tears in order to become that thing that they want to be so badly because they are so f***ing angry that they were never given anything. And with that chip on their shoulder, they're determined to become anything that they set their mind to. 
So whether you have talent, whether you don't, the only thing that matters is will you persevere? Will you stick with it long enough to get great?